Okay, so now we know how to create the object, right? So we have a class, let's say we have a class A, and then in this class A, we have a show method. Now, how do we call show method? That's very simple. First, you have to create the object of A, and then you can call the show method. Now, what happens behind the scene? So of course, uh, you have your big JVM here, and then in this, you'll be having your stack memory, and then you'll be having your heap memory as well. Now, in this heap memory, so if you look at line number 14, it will create an object. Uh, let's say the address is 101. And then in this, you'll be having a variable or methods. Uh, we don't have a variable as of now. So let's say we have a method which is show. So of course, in order to call this show, we need object. So we have done that. And then we have obj here. The address will be 101. And it will refer here. And then every time you want to call show, basically you have to say obj dot show. That's how it works, right? Okay. Now, just to clear the things, this obj here is not called the object. It is called a reference variable, right? So this is your reference variable. Why is it called a reference variable? Because it is referring to an object. The object is here. So this is your object, okay? So the question is, if I want to create this object, is this line compulsory or do we have a shortcut? Now to understand this more, let's also use a concept of constructor. So let's say we have a constructor here, which is A, and then I'm just trying to print something here. It says object created. So of course we know every time you create the object, it will call the constructor as well. So it should print. So if I compile and run this code, you can see it says object created and it is printing in a show. Now, actually, if you look at this line here, there are two steps, not one example. So let's say if you create a local variable called marks, okay? And then you set the marks for it. You set the value for it, let's say 99. We hate, everyone hates this type of people, right? Anyway, so we have this variable. So what we're doing is we are, first of all, declaring the variable, and then we are assigning a value. The same thing can be done for this thing, right? We can do it in two, two steps. We can declare the object, and then we can say obj equal to new a. Now this is called reference creation, right? This is where you're creating a reference. And then this is where you are creating an object and assigning the value to obj. That means this is, I mean, when you say new A, this is where you create the object. Let me show that. Let me remove everything from here and say new A. This is object creation, not the entire line. When you say new A constructor, that is your object creation. The moment you do that, in your heap memory, of course, we don't have all this data now. So ignore all this data which is, which is there. Let me just remove this. This is not there. Imagine there's no object. So this line will create an object. Doesn't matter what's the address, let's say 501, and it will have this show method, okay? The only thing is we are not doing anything. We are not creating any variable inside stack. Example, when you say int uh, marks, the moment you do that, it will create a int variable called marks here. The value will, be the value, value will be blank, and whatever value you want to assign, you can assign that here. But if you can see, we are not doing anything here. We are just creating a object that is created inside the heap memory, nothing in stack. And if you don't trust me, let me just show you the proof. If I compile this code and run, it says object created. This is the object. And this type of objects are called anonymous object. You know why? It's because this type of object don't have a name, right? What do you call when you have a reference? It is called a referenced object. Okay, because there's a reference in the stack. So when you say obj, there's a reference here. For the anonymous object, there's no reference. The only problem with this type of object is you can't reuse them. Once you have written this line, you got the new object in the heap, how will you use it? That's the problem, right? So you should use this type of object only when it is required. So let's say if you want to call show, you can actually call this, okay? So you can say new a dot show. This is object, right? This is object. So using the object, you can call show. The only thing is you can't use the same object again. So if I compile and run, it worked. The only thing is you can't use this object once more. So if you write this line once more, what will happen? Now, I mentioned that you can't reuse it. What happens when you do that? You can see it says object created. So it has created two objects. Every time you say new A, it creates a new object. So whenever you want to use a normal object, you can use this type of objects. Okay, so that's it. That's it from this video where we talked about anonymous objects.